guys, it's me again, it's your boy Dr. G. Um, I'm just making this video, let me just hit you guys up one time. Um, this is just a video response to a video I saw with Steve Harvey on the Oprah Winfrey show. Um, I don't know how long ago this was, this was but it kind of came out to me that a lot of females have so much high expectations for men. And yes, you know, that's good. I agree with Steve Harvey, I agree with everybody. You ha you gotta have expectations, you have to have your vision board, you know, if that works for you. But what I want to emphasize in this video that you that you guys, everybody, females, males, you can do it too, is to get connected to God. Now, a lot of times here on earth people realize that it just think it's just male and female in there. It's not male and female in this relationship alone. The closer you are to God, the closer you will see him working on your behalf, providing you with the man of your dreams. You will hear that voice in your head saying, this is the guy for me, and this is exactly what. Put yourself in a place where you're connected to him. You might have to take some early morning meditations. You might just put, you have to do what you got to do to make yourself ready for that man. So when he comes along, you know exactly what you want. It's not just a uh, man and woman. It's three of you in this relationship. And the closer you are, the stronger your your vision will be and the more real it will be to you. Today could be the day that you find this man. Today could be the day that you find this woman. But you have to be ready for it. You have to be in a position where you can understand and, and your body's ready. Nobody can love yourself better than you. And this is what I this is what I have to emphasize with you guys. You nobody can take care of themselves better than you. When you do this, when you've learned to love yourself, when you've learned to take care of yourself, when you're in, you, when you've done all your preparations you need to do to make yourself be in a place where a man can come and complete you, or, or don't you know? I'm not, should I say that again? A man would come and just uh, empower you more than you are. Then you're ready for a relationship. A man, a woman, you know, nobody. You got to be complete. You got to know what you want complete yourself and know exactly who you are and where you're at with this with, with, with yourself it is no use you trying to bring somebody else into your life and you don't know where you're at and what you want the other thing is is that you've got to give this man the opportunity to want to, to empower you you know one of the thing is is that I believe that a man is simple a lot of men today are simple, and they're not as a compromise or, 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 or mind blowing as uh, you would probably would say you like them to be, or you're thinking you because you got so much things on your list that you might think, okay, I might have to compromise so much things. But if you find somebody that can make you happy, if you find somebody that genuinely wants to take care of you, that person that wants to be in your love nest, in your garden then you can empower him to be a better person men are generally hunters so then we will seek after you we will try our best to please you as long as you know how to tap in to that source of energy that you have to make us to do this the other thing is I um, refer to Steve Harvey's video I just watched the cookie listen I agree with you but women don't just give up your cookie like that you know one of the things is, the thing is, I'm gonna tell you, is that you have to know how much your cookies worth. You can't expect it to be throwing your cookie out there and it's not worth. You don't know the value of it. If you know the value of your cookie and how you value your cookie, a man would value your cookie the same way. And this way, he has to put in the work. Anyway, you heard it first on the Dr. G show. If you like my show, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget 2011 is your year, my year, let's do this.